Good afternoon. I'll be speaking to you regularly via social media about the areas I've been focusing on as Chief Minister, as well as the wider work going on across government to ensure that we're making a positive and tangible difference for all islanders. Whilst there's actually only been 78 days since the Council of Ministers were elected by the State's Assembly, we've been working hard behind the scenes to set our agenda, to deal with legacy issues and to develop ways of working more productively. Of greatest importance is our ongoing work to develop a comprehensive strategic plan that will guide all of our actions across the next four years. Uh, this will be presented to the States in early October and I look forward to discussing this in more detail with you over the coming weeks. Today, I've signed a ministerial decision that sets out the terms of reference for policy development boards. I believe these boards are essential in ensuring that policy is developed in a collegiate way from the very outset, making the most of the skills of all state's members. And as I said when elected as Chief Minister, I am determined to build an inclusive government that works alongside all the members of the Assembly and scrutiny. I've met on a one-to-one -one basis with 10 states members over the past weeks and plan to meet with all remaining members before the end of this year. And I hope this will become the start of regular meeting with members and improved communications. This week has also seen several important actions and announcements across government. Uh, yesterday we published our reaction to the 25 Brexit technical notices that were issued by the UK government. These notices set out the direct impacts on UK citizens in the event of a no deal Brexit. Jersey's Brexit planning has been developed on the basis of a no-deal scenario since the UK referendum, which took place in June 2016. And we are well aware of the potential risks to the island presented by no-deal Brexit and have developed contingency plans to ensure that all departments are prepared for and ready to manage those risks. And you can read our response to the UK notices at gov.je forward slash Brexit. We also announced today that EY will be our partner as we modernise public finances. This transformation programme will overhaul how we run our finance operation and make sure the state has effective financial planning and management, ensuring that taxpayers' money is being spent wisely. Another positive development is the new partnership between Skills Jersey and the UK organisation Primary Engineer, which will see hundreds of Jersey skilled children working alongside local engineers in their classrooms from September. And I believe it's of utmost importance that we offer students the opportunity to develop, to develop a wide range of talents, embrace their passion for emerging technology, and address the skills gap in vital sections of the economy. Earlier this week, I visited the Minkies with colleagues, the Lieutenant Governor and Bailiff. And it was an important opportunity for ministers to visit this somewhat, uh, sometimes overlooked part of the Bailiwick and to reinforce our sovereignty. It has actually been a regular feature of state's work for many years and in fact I was delighted to follow in the footsteps of my father who made the same journey when he was a state's member. Last night I also had the great pleasure to open, to open the Portuguese Food Festival welcoming the Education Secretary for the Regional Government of Madeira. And this annual event has become a highlight of the Jersey community calendar. It's a clear demonstration of the mutual respect for the cultural traditions of Portugal, the islands of Jersey and Madeira and their people. And indeed, it's been 20 years since the friendship agreement that was signed between, between Jersey and Madeira, and the friendship between our islands is stronger and more important than ever. Finally, I'd like to offer my personal congratulations to all young islanders who've received the GCSE results this week. Your hard work and dedication has paid off, now you can have a break. It is a very it's very positive to see the increasing number of pupils receiving high passing grades and it's a testament to the work of our students, their parents and the dedicated teachers working in schools across the island. Now I hope this short video has given you a brief insight into the work that is my focus and I look forward to engaging with you more frequently over the coming months. Thank you.